Around 1.6 billion people still live outside the footprint of a 3G mobile network. One of the important initiatives that we do in mobile for development is accelerating digital inclusion. The work that we do in digital inclusion is also um, greatly uh, enhanced by the partnerships we have with the World Bank and the Broadband Commission within the UN, which work together with us to call for more enabling policies to deliver digital inclusion for those who need it most. In 2015, Tanzania was chosen as a pilot market to explore how to reach its 13 million unconnected citizens living in rural areas where infrastructure for mobile broadband is sorely lacking. Tanzania is a great lighthouse example of digital inclusion, but actually 13 million people still are unconnected. So the work that we've done with the mobile operators and the government to launch these pilots is to deploy 3G network in areas where there's never been 3G network at all. What that's done is actually unlock the human potential for 70,000 people in Tanzania. This type of industry collaboration is extremely important in extension of infrastructure in deep rural areas, which will lower cost at the same time provide competition, which will allow for better services to rural Tanzanians. And we believe mobile broadband coverage brings education, health, financial services in deep rural areas. I, I would guess that the, the biggest challenge was to unify our technologies, to decide what were the parameters in which we were going to do this project, to select vendors. And again, it's, it's coordination, right? It's many, many players in, in this project, so it's, it's sometimes it's very difficult to get them all to see things in the same way. You're able to test uh, new opportunities like uh, inter-company roaming, which doesn't exist today. And therefore, these towers, we were actually looking at sharing the tower, but building the tower by one operator, but actually roaming on each other's network. The operators are sharing uh, all the infrastructure, making it much quicker and also more cost efficient to roll out in rural areas. And we did this by deploying our new Ericsson radio system, which is a very power efficient solution, making it possible to run only on solar power. I think it's a fantastic proof of concept that will now allow us to roll out in a much greater scale with the support of government, with the support of the regulator. And, and if we can achieve that through the end of this project, I think there's no stopping us in getting to 100% population coverage. Kutokana na umuhimu wa upatikanaji data au internet kwa wananchi kwamba inaweza kusaidia katika utendaji kazi, kuinua maisha yao ya kijamii na kuboresha uchumi wao. I think getting the GSMA to play a pivotal role in this was really getting the three key stakeholders together. In December 2016, construction began on the first six pilot sites outside a village in southern Tanzania. In February 2017, for the very first time, rural Tanzanians near the initial pilot site were able to access 3G services from one single shared tower. <laughs> What began as an ambitious vision of connecting underserved rural populations has become a reality. To build on this phenomenal success, both the technology and the process were designed to be replicable in other markets with a proven, commercially sustainable format. Already active across several markets in Africa and Asia, the GSMA's Connected Society team stands ready to support you in your coverage expansion projects.